It's time for In the Zone, sponsored by Academy Sports and Outdoor, Andrews Heating and Air Conditioning, Menards, Subway, Terre Haute Savings Bank, and Wabash Valley Sports. Now with the best gridiron show in the Wabash Valley, Rick Semler and Casey Miller. Good evening and welcome to In the Zone. You can tell the state attorney is quickly approaching because we had some games tonight that felt like the postseason. That's right. First place is on the line tonight in the WRC. And the game of the year in the LIC took place between Newton and Marshall. A conference division title was also on the line tonight for Sullivan. And we had two ranked teams meet as Linton hosted Eastern Green. In all sports, 10 has highlights from 12 games tonight. We'll get to the games momentarily. But first, a very special coach who's familiar to many in the Wabash Valley was honored tonight. What a special scene it was at Terre Haute North. The school renamed their press box after their longtime football head coach Wayne Staley. Tons of Staley's old players showed up coming from as far away as North Carolina, New Jersey and Arizona to see this special dedication. Staley coached the only four players from Terre Haute North to make it to the NFL and Anthony Thompson, Ernie Thompson, Steve Weatherford and Jamie Petrowski who were all on hand. The Thompson brothers and Weatherford were seen there. Petrowski here would give his high school coach Indianapolis Colts head coach Chuck Pagano's book with a personal message inside of it from the Colts coach. Staley's the school's all-time winningest coach with 103 victories. And according to his former players, it's only fitting to have the Wayne Staley press box after all the lives he impacted at Terre Haute North. So he ranks high, very high, you know, in my life in terms of football and what it means to be a coach. Even when I was coaching at IU, I just loved how Mr. Coach Staley would coach with passion. I've had great coaches in Tom Coughlin, Sean Payton, Jack Del Rio, uh, but without question, uh, he's the toughest man I've ever met, and uh, you know, anytime I hit any adversity in my life, there's never a negotiation in my mind what to do, uh, and I learned that from him. He's a very, very tough man, and, uh, and he inspired and motivated a lot more people than just myself. You know the Terre Haute North team would love to win in honor of Coach Staley. The Patriots hosted Perry Meridian in a conference Indiana game. A very first offensive play of the game for Terre Haute North. Nathan Barrett rips off a 31-yard gain. I was thinking it was going to be a big night for the Patriots. Same drive, third and eight for North. Nick Barrett to Nathan Barrett. First down for the Patriots. Nathan had nine catches for 100 yards. Second quarter, Terre Haute North lines up for a 39-yard field goal. Perry Meridian blocks it. That sums up North's night with the football. Perry Meridian shuts them out, winning 21 to nothing. Terre Haute South also had a home conference Indiana game. They entertained Franklin Central. Collins Turner and Casey Bender have turned into the NFL's Matt Ryan and Julio Jones. Each week, these two find each other for at least one deep scoring play. Good guys up 7-0 early. Ethan Cox says, I better be on smashes of the night. The South linebacker with a slobber knocker as he just lays out the receiver. I love that hit. Franklin Central in South Territory goes for it on fourth down. Braves defensive lineman Brandon Chamberlain says, bad idea. Brings the quarterback down with the sack. With LSU's game postponed this weekend at Florida, former Terre Haute South Brave and current Tigers QB Danny Etling was on hand at South tonight. Etling would see his alma mater drop their 17th straight game. But Danny said he's proud of where he comes from. The surreal feeling of, you know, where I've come from and, and you know, being here tonight and now seeing where I play it on, on Saturdays. And, you know, it, it keeps you humble and it keeps you kind of happy of, of where you came from. And again, couldn't be prouder of, of where I'm from than Terre Haute. It's gotten to the point where it's just ridiculous with Linton. The last four weeks, the closest game the Miners have played is a 53-point win. Maybe the 1A second-ranked Miners could finally get a test tonight from 12th-ranked Eastern Green. These two ranked teams collided in minor territory this evening. Late first quarter, Tyler Muir on the quarterback. Keeper almost gets tripped up but stays on his feet, and he's just way too fast for these kids. Muir all the way to the house to give the Miners a 2 Two touchdown lead. Second quarter now. This play is just unreal. Watch Tyler Muir dancing around defenders. This kid cutting through the Thunderbirds defense like a hot knife through butter. They had dancing with the stars in Terre Haute. <laughs> yes. He should have signed up. It was a big run. He's just short of the goal line. Kendall Williams going to get credit for the touchdown with the short run there, but that one was all Tyler Muir. Eastern Green just wasn't a challenge for the Miners. Linton shuts out the 12th ranked Thunderbirds. That final score 49 
to zero. And coming up next, we have highlights from the huge WRC showdown between North Vermilion and Fountain Central. Plus stops at West Vigo, Northview, Rockville, and South Vermilion when it is on returns.